A horrifying scene at the Linway Auto Auction just after 10 this morning. Several hundred customers and a few hundred more employees inside the sprawling building when an SUV went out of control. It suddenly accelerated traveled through the inside of the building at a very high rate of speed, striking numerous people, and ultimately was brought to a halt by crashing into a cinder block wall. Two women and one man were killed, eight more injured, and another hospitalized from the stress of what happened. From what we know at this point, some people have head injuries, a number of back, leg, torso injuries. Potential bidders had been walking in and around vehicles as they were slowly driven through the building on travel lanes as they do every Wednesday when it happened. You know, you see injuries, I, I don't give laying on the ground and then blood all over the place. And News 9 Investigates has learned the Jeep was a trade-in from an auto fair dealership in New Hampshire. The dealership sent the Jeep to auction and it was then out of their hands, driven by an auction employee in his 70s. At this point, authorities believe it was an accident. The guys is not control the, the car, you know what I mean? So this two CD guys go out fast, you know what I mean? You can see where the car just mowed people down. Officials estimate it traveled about 80 yards through the building. You can see the, the, the concrete wall. That got to be a little bit more than 30 miles an hour to, to break down that, that concrete wall. So According to the DA, the driver of that Jeep was not among those taken to the hospital. She says it will be some time before investigators know exactly what happened and why. Reporting live in Bill Rickham, Massachusetts, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.